Jitter clicking is a very popular clicking method used inside of the Minecraft PvP community. Many players and big YouTubers such as Intel Edits and Ayo Zuzini are censored around this clicking method to help with their PvP skills. So what makes this clicking method so special? Well, you can get double the amount of CPS that you can get while you're just normal clicking. And with that said, not every mouse is good for jitter clicking, and also not everyone has a budget to buy top tier gaming mice for jitter clicking. So that's why in this video, I'll be going over the top 7 best budget jitter clicking mice. And by budget, I'll try keeping all the mice displayed in this video under $50. Just to let you know, I also just released my own Discord server. We are a very friendly community, and we host giveaways almost every single week for different types of cosmetics, Hypixel ranks, and even Feather Clan giveaways. I'll put the link down in the description below if you guys want to check it out. But other than that, I hope you guys enjoy the video. Coming in at number 7 on our list, we have the Steel Series Rival 3. The Steel Series Rival 3 is an overall good budget mouse costing $24 on Amazon. At this price range, the Steel Series Rival 3 can do many different clicking methods such as double clicking, jitter clicking, butterfly clicking, and even drag clicking. For jitter clicking, the Steel Series Rival 3 can achieve up to 12 to 14 CPS. A great advantage to this mouse is that the switches are very loose. This means that you can easily get high CPS from jitter clicking without putting much effort into it. The Steel Series Rival 3 also weighs around 77 grams, which is considered pretty light for a mouse these days. Overall, I think this mouse is kind of underrated in the PvP community because for a very low price, it comes with many great advantages. So if you are on a low budget and you're looking for a solid gaming mouse, then I would highly recommend this mouse for you. I'll now play some clips of people jitter clicking with this mouse. Taking spot at number 6 on our list, we have the Logitech G203. The original price of the G203 is $40, but at the time of recording this video, the mouse is on sale for only $30. The G203 has the same shape as the G Pro Hero, which is a very popular mouse used in the Minecraft PvP community. For clicking space, there should be enough room for anyone to jitter click or even butterfly click on. But if you do have large hands, then it may be a little more challenging to butterfly click. For jitter clicking, the G203 can get around 13 CPS. With the switches very easy to click on, I think it suits many jitter clickers out there in the Minecraft PvP community. The shape of the G203 makes it very comfortable to hold in your hands, and it also provides a better grip for your fingers. The mouse also weighs at 85 grams, which is pretty normal for a mouse these days. The only downside that I can say to this mouse is that the G203 usually fits people that have small or medium hands. But other than that, for a budget of only $30, I would highly recommend this mouse for Minecraft. I'll now play some clips of people jitter clicking with this mouse. For jitter clicking, the highest I've gotten with a jitter click is 14. But that's that's literally that's not gonna be consistent. So consistently I get 12 CPS while jitter clicking. And that's that's pretty much about it. At number 5 on our list, we have the Corsair Cat R Pro XT. The Cat R Pro is not a mouse that is heard of very often in the Minecraft PvP community, but I think it deserves way more recognition for all of its features. On Amazon, you can find the Cat R Pro for only $30, and if you want the wireless version of the mouse, then just add 10 more dollars to your budget. The Cat R Pro is mostly known for its drag clicking capabilities, but it can also butterfly click and jitter click very well too. For jitter clicking, the Cat R Pro can achieve up to 12 to 14 CPS very consistently. Jitter clicking is pretty much effortless on this mouse because the switches are on the light rounded side. The Cat R Pro is also very light weighing at 69 grams. The only downside that I can see to this mouse is that it usually fits people with small or medium sized hands. But other than that, if you are on a low budget, then this mouse would definitely be the way to go. I'll now play some clips of people jitter clicking with this mouse. Jitter. I get around 12 to 13 CPS constant. Taking spot at number 4 on our list, we have the MM710 Cooler Master. 
The MM710 is a well-rounded Minecraft mouse costing just around $45 depending on where you live. Most people call this mouse the ripoff Model O because it has basically the same features. The shape, the honeycomb holes on the back, and the switches are basically identical to the Model O. The MM710 is mostly known for how well it drag clicks, but it's also good for other clicking methods as well. The MM710 can double click, jitter click, butterfly click, and even drag click. For jitter clicking, the MM710 can get around 12 to 14 CPS. The Omron switches used on the Cooler Master make it way easier to jitter click on without putting much effort into it. The mouse also has a very comfortable design for your hand, which also provides a better grip. A really good feature about this mouse is that it weighs 53 grams, which is lighter than the Model O itself. The sensor used on the MM710 is also pretty good, and it can go up to 16,000 dpi. Other than that, I can't really find a downside to this mouse because it's really good. So if you do have the budget of 30 to 50 dollars, then I'd highly recommend this mouse for you. I'll now play some clips of people jitter clicking with this mouse. I got a million particles. Okay, game. I see how it is. <laughs> Coming in at number 3 on our list, we have the SteelSeries Sensei 310. The Sensei 310 is basically an upgraded version of the SteelSeries Rebel 3 and the SteelSeries Rebel 310. On Amazon, you can find this mouse for around $50 depending on where you live. The Sensei 310 can do any clicking method well, which includes double clicking, jitter clicking, butterfly clicking, and even drag clicking. Specifically for jitter clicking, the Sensei 310 can achieve up to 15 CPS. With the light rounded switches, it's very easy to click on this mouse. The shape and texture of this mouse makes it very comfortable to hold in your hands, and it also provides a better grip. The weight of the Sensei 310 is on the heavier side, weighing around 92 grams. So I wouldn't really recommend this mouse for you if you don't like heavy mice. Another downside that I can see to this mouse is that the clicking space is a little small. So if you do like butterfly clicking for PvP, then this mouse may not be for you. But otherwise, for overall Minecraft, the Sensei 310 is a pretty well balanced mouse. I'll now place a few clips of people jitter clicking with this mouse. Taking spot at number 2 on our list, we have the Razer Death Adder 2013 version. The 2013 version of the Death Adder is a very good mouse for Minecraft PvP and just Minecraft in general. You can find the 2013 version of the Death Adder on Amazon for around $30, but most of them are running out of stock. Just as a quick disclaimer, the Razer Death Adder 2013 version is a different mouse compared to the Razer Death Adder Essential. Most people get confused and buy the Death Adder Essential. The Death Adder Essential has complete different switches compared to the 2013 version, so just make sure you're buying the right version. Besides that, the different switches used on the 2013 version allows it to double click which makes it really good for drag clicking and butterfly clicking. For jitter clicking, the 2013 version of the Death Adder can get up to 16 CPS, but on average you'll get around 12 to 15 CPS. One downside to the 2013 version of the Death Adder is that it is pretty heavy weighing at 97 grams. So if you don't like heavy mice, then I wouldn't really recommend this mouse for you. I would also only recommend this mouse for people that have medium to large size hands, as the mouse is pretty big. But other than that, if you can get a hold of this mouse, then I would highly encourage you to get it for the budget of only $30. I'll now play some clips of people jitter clicking with this mouse. Just before we get into the number 1 spot on this list, I just wanted to add some honorable mentions. These mice are also really good for jitter clicking, it's just that some of these mice exceed the budget of $50. I won't be going in detail about all of these mice, so I do recommend for you to do your own research if you are planning to buy one. For honorable mention number 5, we have the HyperX Pulsefire Haste. For honorable mention number 4, we have the Logitech G Pro Hero. For honorable mention number 3, we have the Rokat Kane 100, the Rokat Kane 120, the Rokat Kane 102, and the Rokat Kane 200. For honorable mention number 2, we have the Logitech G Pro Wireless. And finally, for honorable mention number 1, we have the Logitech G Pro Superlight. 
Overall, all of these mice in the armor mentions are good for jitter clicking, so if you do have the budget to buy them, then I would highly encourage you to do so. Now let's move on to the first mouse on this list. Finally, for number 1 on our list, we have the Razer Viper Mini. The Razer Viper Mini is the ultimate budget pick for any jitter clicker in the Minecraft PvP community because of all of its special features. For jitter clicking, the Razer Viper Mini can get up to 16 CPS, but on average, you can get around 13 to 15 CPS. I personally have tried out this mouse, and I could easily get 15 CPS while jitter clicking without putting much effort into it. A positive side that comes to this mouse is that you don't even need to be very skilled at jitter clicking in order to get high CPS. The Razer Viper Mini is extremely comfortable to hold in your hands because of its unique shape. The switches used on the Razer Viper Mini are also very light, so jitter clicking is pretty much effortless on this mouse. In terms of weight, the Razer Viper Mini is extremely light, weighing at 63 grams. The only problem that I see to this mouse is that it usually fits people with small or medium sized hands. But you can also buy the ultimate version of this mouse, which is essentially the same thing, just a bigger version. But other than that, I would highly recommend this mouse if you do have the budget of $20 to $40. I'll now play some clips of people jitter clicking with this mouse. Use your middle finger and index finger? Yep, I do that. Alright guys, that's basically it for this video. I hope this video helped you to find the best jitter clicking mouse for yourself. And if it did, don't forget to drop a like and subscribe because we're getting closer and closer to 4,000 subscribers. So it'd mean the world to me if you guys could like and subscribe. If you do have any further questions regarding to the mice displayed in this video, then feel free to drop a comment down below, or even just join my Discord server where anyone can help you to answer your question. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.